absolutely compassion. It's love in action, and I think compassion in hospice is being done in the community, whether it's an inpatient or someone's home. And I think comfort is something that we can teach people to do. We can teach you how to turn, how to you know, do mouth care, different things to make someone feel better. But I think without the compassion, the rest of it's lost. I have never been through an organization as professional and caring as Hospice of the Chesapeake. Uh, the, just the, the logistics of it, but the caring and how much they honor and absolutely adore their volunteers. There's not a day I don't feel so special. A number of years ago, I had the honor of doing hospice in the U.S. Virgin Islands, which was interesting because they'd never had hospice there. And the elder that I was going to be taking care of was living with her two adult daughters, and the primary caretaker said, Jane, I just don't think I can do this. I know Mommy wants it, but I don't think I can. And I said, I'll be with you every step from start to finish. And the last night I spent you know, 15 to 18 hours with the family until she passed. The family asked if I would sit with them in, in church with the family, which I felt very honored to do. And when I opened up the church program, they listed me as their adopted daughter, and the girls still refer to me as their sister. And that's the honor of being involved with hospice.